My name's Jay, and I got out by myself to go visit three theme parks within the UK. I first went to Drayton Manor in Tamworth, a medium-sized family park with a few roller coasters and quite a few flat rides. I went there primarily to ride their new roller coaster, Gold Rush, which is an intimate family coaster which does two different layouts depending on what time of the day you do. And it was pretty good. It wasn't thrilling, but it was certainly fun. I also experienced a haunting, which was a lesser version of Hex at Alton Towers. Another reason for visiting was to experience the Wave, which used to be a stand-up roller coaster, but has recently transitioned to a nice sit-down one. And although short in length, it certainly packs a bit of a punch. I then moved on to Storm Force 10, which is a flu ride with three drops, including a backwards one. <laughs> and it's a super This is a wet ride. Do not expect to get off this ride with dry clothing. My coat did fuck all. I rode the Zampella Nebula, which is more fun to watch than ride. I rode a solid Zampella disco called Four. An intense Zampella Air Race. And an Intamin Gyro Swing, which was bloody good. It's been a fun first trip to Drayton Manor, and I will return again. About 150 miles later, I arrived at Chessington World of Adventures, where I was greeted with fantastic theming, overpriced food, and a very comfy bed. The next day I awoke fresh as a daisy and went down for breakfast. A good old full English. And it was good. And then I set forth into the park a full hour before the general public were due to come in. Because I'm a hotel guest. Very quiet. I think I'm the only one in here. Because I'm a hotel guest I get hours of exclusive access. So I hightailed it straight to the world of Jumanji, and mandrel mayhem that lay there within. A B&M family shuttle coaster, the first of its type in the world, and a different riding experience depending on which seat you choose, including two backwards seats that face in the opposite direction. Oh, cool. Before the public first set foot into the park, I rode mandrel mayhem no less than 13 times. Very cool station. I'll be the model. To oppose. <laughs> they also had ostrich stampede, which was a kind of a turny bouncy thing. And then I moved on to Dragon's Fury, which is a Mara spinning coaster, and a bloody good one at that. After five back-to-back -back rides without even getting out of the car, I then moved on to Croc Drop, which was a family drop tower. And then soon after that, Tomb Blaster, which was a shooter in the dark. The park is absolutely dead. There's nearly a hundred people here. And it's half ten. Yay! And then I came across the Gruffalo, which was an indoor water ride, a charming one, full of storytelling special effects and even a good drop and a bit of water. I then moved towards the classic aerodynamics coaster, Vampire, a suspended family coaster which weaves throughout the trees and brings you back to a station which is arguably better than the coaster itself. It's 30 years old, it's a classic, but it's also a little bit dull.
And they went on a pirate ship, another Zamperla disco, and then on to a wave swinger with a bit of a twist. It fires unescapable jets of water at you as you swing around! What a f***ing wave swinger. Oh, and there's some animals there as well. So it's uh, 10 to 1, and I'm done. I'm going to Fort Park. I've done everything I needed to do here, a million times over. So quiet. Off to Fort Park! <laughs> so I hopped onto the M25, grabbed some lunch, and then made my way to Fort Park! I'm at Fort Park. Once there, I made an immediate beeline for Iberia. The brand new hypercoaster developed by MacRides. And make no mistake, this thing is next level. Especially the front or back row. When a roller coaster compels you to buy merchandise, you know you're onto a winner. After finding my fearless, I then moved on to Saw the Ride, a Gerslauer Eurofighter, which creates as much pain as the films do. After riding it, you really do feel like you've escaped death, but barely, and with life-changing injuries. Then I moved on to Colossus, an intimate coaster with ten inversions and trains so uncomfortable it's like having your balls squeezed by an angry sumo wrestler. <laughs> then I moved on to a fantastic B&M wing coaster called the Swarm. Although a little too short, it still has fantastic elements, comfortable seats and sensations you only get with a wing coaster. <laughs> I went on a solid intimate drop tower. This is Tidal Wave. Somehow this ride gets you wetter than if you jumped into a pool. Next came the strangely entitled Stealth, which is anything but as it fires you up a big bloody tower and then back again faster than you can blink. Then I rode the B&M Invert called Nemesis Inferno. Some say it's even better than Nemesis at Alton Towers. <laughs> I am not one of those people, but it's a good ride nonetheless. So after the first half of the day being at Chessington and then finishing the day in Fort Park, I retired to the Shark Cabins. A modest size but cosy container that contains some beds, showers, toilets, but weirdly no chairs. It has no chairs. Anywhere. I'm gonna have to sit on the bed. Okay, man. After finding a nearby cinema and watching Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I then retired back to my room in preparation for the next day of coastering. And I was bloody knackered. The film was pretty good. I awoke to a bright and sunny morning and made my way to Vibes, which was where you'd get your breakfast if you're staying in the shark cabins. Another full English breakfast, not quite as good as Chessington's, but still okay, I guess. Then I headed back into the park for another full day of riding roller coasters. I met a charming chap from America. Right, so I was paired with this guy here for Hyperion. We got the front row. Front row. Front row. First time front row. So, what's your name? <laughs> My name is Alex. Where are you from? Ah, uh, Sandusky, Ohio. And he's a roller coaster nut like me. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been t I've been showing him around the park, showing him what's good, and uh, it's been fun. Favorite roller coaster, except for high period. Except for ah. Oh. I, I, yeah, Swarm, you're right. Yeah. It's close because I really like Stealth too. Stealth is good, but yeah, front row on Swarm is great. It's pretty top notch. But not as good as front row in Hyperion. And so I completed my day at Fort Park and my tour as a whole and prepared to drive 250 miles back home. Thank you for joining me. Now go away.